All right, we're back sweeping this uh, combustion chamber right now. So I've done about a half inch of it right now up here. See where I blended into the original cut. So knocking down all these big welds here. So we're doing 25 thou passes here. Keep the power feed down, turn it over by hand. You can see the cut I made before. I left that one line. That's <clears throat> my reference point. Right there up here. Okay. That's how we do it. Takes a while. Some people might get bored doing this stuff. So we go up here and give it 25. Right there. And then we do another one. up until we see that line again, right there, change our handle over here, and we'll just do another one. Let's see, I don't think I did my 25 yet, yeah, if we did we'd do 150 now. Back to zero. Sounds heavier. Hey, we did do 25 already. Yeah, it doesn't take a spot to redo it. If in doubt, redo it. Or you don't screw it up. No, I didn't do it because it's it didn't recut. See, video interrupts what I'm doing. See. At this point I'm kind of lost, so I'm just going to go down until I hit, and then I'll be re-standardized again. See, I'm cranking this handle right here until I see the dial out. Whoop, right there. There's our mark. All right, I retouched off. This time let's do it in the correct order. Do the adjustment here first. There's 50. So when you do things out of order, you get mixed up. But luckily it's a monotonous job, so it's easy to touch up when you screw up.
came in quick. We're getting close to the top. Let's see, another 25. Lock it again. I was supposed to pull it up. striking all the way across, all the way around. I marked it over there so you can see where the new and the old blend. So, anyway, lots of fun. So I'll just keep on this and until I'm done. And I just finished up the uh, combustion chamber cut here. So you can see how it's a nice radius finish all the way up. This is new, that's old, this is new. And that's right where the well was right there. So that's how close it is. And this is all old over here. So you can see where I was cutting, coming up here. The old stuff is the dark, which I didn't even recut. It's real rough down here because that's my original course finish. I, got, I did a lot finer coming up. So yeah, that's how it looks now. Looks like we got just a little speck of porosity right there. And the blending line and the weld right there. That's where it didn't quite clean because it's slowly under the surface when you weld it. So anyway, that's pretty good looking there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the head out. And I already did the other head, so I'm gonna flip this thing over, put the cylinder in it uh, on the mill, and do the other side.